Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the Biden documents, because that's a thing now. Um, we're going to talk about that and go over the one question that has flooded my inbox since news of this broke. If you don't know what happened, uh, some documents were discovered at the Penn Biden Center. It's a think tank. Um, and they are from Biden's time as vice president, and some of them are classified. The question that has just flooded me is, is this comparable to the Trump document case? Comparable is a relative term. Um, even though we use it as an example of two things that shouldn't be compared, you can compare apples to oranges. I mean, they're both about classified documents, but that's kind of where the similarities end. Based on reporting, it appears that Biden's lawyers found the documents, picked up the phone, called like right then, and were like, hey, you need to come get this and get it out of my possession, which is what's supposed to happen. Literally, immediately, within 24 hours. Um... And everything was handed over immediately. So that in and of itself is a massive departure from what happened in the Trump case. Um, there's also the matter of scale. You're talking about what appears to be an errant document set in the Biden uh, case. And, I mean, hundreds of documents in the Trump case. It's a little different. That being said, that isn't what matters. The media, if there's one thing I've learned over the last four or five months, it's that the media doesn't understand classification levels. Um, some of the reporting is saying that they were marked classified. Okay, then this doesn't matter. This is a nothing burger. However, that just because that's what the reporting says, that doesn't actually mean that they were marked classified. They could have been marked something else. I'm going to go back to what I've said the entire time through the Trump case. If you go back and look at those videos... Like the first one in the series is something like, let's talk about the search at Trump's house or something like that. The next one is, let's talk about Trump and TSSCI documents. That's what matters. Um, to know whether or not this is even remotely comparable, we have to know the classification level. Um, throughout the thing with Trump, I have focused on that particular set of documents because that's what matters. Those that were labeled TSSCI, the compartmented information, that's, that's, those are the big secrets. The other stuff, under Trump, it, when we're talking about that case, I've been like, yeah, it's not good, but, I mean, okay. The SCI stuff is what matters. Um, the same thing holds true here. There's no difference. If they are SCI documents, if this set of documents from the Biden case, if this is SCI, then yeah. Yes, the counterintelligence teams need to go in and find out exactly what happened. Yeah. There, there's no difference there. Um, the reporting suggests that this all occurred back in November, early November, and that Garland appointed a U.S. attorney who was nominated by Trump to oversee all of it. Based on the length of time that has passed, it, it's, a, it's a safe assumption that th the decision about whether or not to pursue a full investigation has already been made. Um, so there was no attempt to cover it up. The documents were handed over immediately, which kind of precludes the idea of an investigation under willful retention. Um, 
it's not the same other than they involve classified documents. Does that matter when it comes to the way Fox News and places like that are going to try to frame it? No, it absolutely doesn't. I am fairly certain, based on the tone of the reporting and how this didn't become a big news story for a long time, uh, that these aren't SCI documents. Um, so my, my gut here says, investigate it. There, there's not going to be anything there. Um, I, I don't think when it all shakes out that it's going to be even remotely comparable. Just on the surface, it's apples and oranges. Um, all of that being said, this is probably a clear indication that there is a, a lapse when it comes to the period of transition between administrations. It's probably a good idea to have what amounts to a counterintelligence filter team there to go through the documents and make sure that a former president or vice president isn't leaving with something that they shouldn't. That seems like maybe it should start happening between every administration. Um, because even if they are the lower levels of classification, it's still not good. It, it's just not, it's not at the same level. Um, you know, I, I have a bunch of videos from Trump's time where I'm talking about SCI documents and how much they matter, because that is what he had. Um, so I don't foresee the comparisons being valid. I definitely see them being made, though. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.